All right, I'm gonna show you how to take a picture or a vector file of a two-dimensional image and make a 3D printable file using Tinkercad. So uh, this is just an example that I took from the noun project of a Velociraptor, and I'll show you the trick. So uh, first, I'm just gonna clear my bed and get everything started. Now, the noun project is a website uh, where you can find vector files of all kinds of things. You can type in pretty much any word you can possibly imagine, and it'll generate a whole bunch of scalable vector files or SVGs. So I'm going to start things off by doing a pig. I'm just, that's the first thing I can think of. So I have selected pig and I want a silhouette uh, that I can then 3D print. So I kind of like this pig. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about that ear, uh, maybe not printing uh, if it's attached. So actually I'm going to go back and pick a different pig. I'm going to choose this one. Everything looks like it's attached and I should be able to 3D print it. I'm just going to log in. Uh, all right, done. Good login. So if you don't have an account for the noun project, creating an account is totally free and you do not need to pay $2.99 for a royalty free license because you are not using this professionally, you're using this for your personal use. So I'm gonna get a basic download of this and continue. And I want an SVG. SVG stands for scalable vector file. And so there I've now downloaded this file and uh, you can save that to your desktop, put it somewhere where you're going to find it later. Now, if I want to import this into Tinkercad, uh, I could try to do it right now, but there's something about noun project vector files that makes them not quite compatible with Tinkercad right out of the gate. It's really easy. You could modify the code uh, yourself by hand, but instead we're just gonna keep it as simple as possible. We're finding an online converter. Onlineconvert.com will convert all kinds of files into other kinds of files. Um, so I'll try to provide the link that converts to SVG. So I can just drag my SVG file and it will start the conversion after I can make some adjustments if I wanna make it colored or whatever. I'm just gonna hit start conversion and it will download in just a sec. And so I can download my down pig and there it is. So this is my new file and I go into Tinkercad and I'm going to import and I can choose a file. So I'm gonna choose the pig that I just got, the SVG. Look at that, looks great. And I can center it on my artboard and import it. And just like that, Tinkercad will import my SVG file and I have now a pig with just a little bit of dimension to it that I can 3D print. So if you look, it's a little bit thick. Uh, it's 10 centimeter or 10 millimeters tall and I can shrink it down and then I can 3D print it. This is great if you intended to make some shadow puppets or if you just want a unique keychain or any number of different things. And so it's a great way to take one of my favorite things, which is the noun project, and turn them into 3D prints using one of my other favorite things, which is Tinkercad. Uh, I hope that helps. Uh, don't skip the step of converting your file. Uh, it's, it's not that there's a problem with noun project SVG files. It's just that they're not quite optimized to work with Tinkercad. It's a really small little step, uh, and it, but it will make it work. If you try to just take your noun project SVG and import it into Tinkercad, it'll look a little bit funny. The last one I did, it had all kinds of jagged edges. And so this, this was the workaround for that. And from here, you can export the file as an STL file and print it and off you go. So I hope that's helpful. I just wanted to show you that it could be done and that it's not all that difficult. So good luck.